What's happening everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yep, it's my long time. And today, who today? Today we have to replace this carrier bearing or swing bearing or a support bearing for this drive shaft. Uh, as you can see, yep. it's no good. It's worn out. So, let's get on with it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record everything due to the fact I'm solo. So, we're going to do what we do. First, we're going to clean it up. We'll clean up the area over here. By the U joint. That was simple enough. Let's go to the other side. Right. Hope y'all can see it because I sure can't. Yeah, I believe that'll work. Go ahead and uh, try to clean some of this off. I'm gonna have to grab onto it. All right, let me go get some sockets and uh, pop these caps off on this U-joint. Let's get this puppy on out of here. All right, uh, I've cracked them loose, uh, these two bolts, and also the ones on the opposite side facing the bottom. Let's go ahead and back off of them a little bit. Oh, that cap came off. I'll go ahead and put that on right there for now. You won't go back on. <laughs> Nah, I'll just mess it around. I need it off. As you can see, it's, it's filthy off in there. Let me go get my magnetic tray so I can set these caps on there. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out. On out of there. Yeah, got distracted there for a moment. So, all right, we're back on track. Go ahead and get this bottom bolt out of here, along with this bottom cap. Oh, that's a good sign. It's moving. All right. I'm going to cut y'all back on here in a moment. I gotta catch this whole yoke in this dry shaft and these uh caps for this U joint. I don't wanna drop no bearings. Put y'all back on, man. Alright, let's see if this thing will come on out for me. There she go. Yeah, so she's no good. Uh I mean, she's good in there, but she's not good back here. So, I have a new one coming. Should be here, hopefully, in no time. I just wanted to show y'all me pulling that part off. Now, what I have to do is get this, uh, get this U-joint out of here. So, let me slide it back right quick. And let me get it on up out of there. Alright. There it is. We got that uh U U joint down. And uh that black bucket over there I was using it just in case one of the bearings or some of the bearings fell off. I had something to catch it, it won't be all over that gravel down there. 
anyway put it in gear as you see it it, it will move on you so you want it to be in gear and locked down so you can uh, remove that nut right there in the, in the center all right so let's get on with it now we have it in gear as you see it will not move but it it is shaking because of that uh the rubber bushing is gone reason why we're replacing this and uh i don't know if this is gonna work and it's not going to work i don't have the right socket on me i gotta go pick it up now so let me go get it cut you back on okay we got our socket and our breaker bar and our beef jerky yes cracked pepper beef jerky homemade lifesaver anyway let's go on and get this nut loose make some progress So, if I'm smacking, excuse me, is the jerky. It'd be good if I had an impact, but I don't. This is a three-quarter drive breaker bar and socket. And uh, I did not bring the air compressor with the three-quarter drive impact with me. So we're doing it the hard way. Let me slap this uh, ratchet on here. Okay, uh, I went on and cranked on it a few times. Uh, I don't know if yours will be the same size, but uh, this is a one and five eight socket that I'm using for this nut to remove this yoke. All right, three quarter inch drive. Uh-oh, I gotta put y'all down. It's gonna fall. <laughs> the ratchet's gonna fall. Alright. We only have a few threads I believe to go. Trying to get, get y'all the best seat in the house, as always. Yeah, nope. Still got a little tension on it. Well, not tension. Just hold on it. There we go. Let's see. She want to come play with me now. And you do have a, a flat washer right here that needs to come out with it. Like so. like that there she is all right let's keep it moving all right uh i've decided before we go ahead and attack this uh i want to go ahead and try to lube it up with the oil that creeps y'all see that the oil that creeps yeah so we're just gonna 
just going to go ahead and try to get off in there best we can. Hopefully it help us out. As far as removing this yoke. Yeah, I believe that's good. All right, let's let that soak for a few minutes and we'll try to work it on out. Okay, uh, I gotta get this done. Let's go ahead and try to slide this out. Uh, first, before we try to beat down on it and stuff like that, uh, we're gonna try to just pull it off and they do make a, a removal tool for this. It's like a, a rod or a bar that goes through here and the, the boat goes in between it and it pushes in from here and draws it out. But y'all know me, I don't have that luxury like that. So I just get to spray it down and just pull it on out. What? I'm strong, y'all. I'm, I'm just, I'm strong like that. Don't mess with me. Don't, don't mess with me. Anyway, let me get this thing on out. Cut you back on. Man, too strong. Telling you. Y'all mess with the wrong cat. Alright, there it is. That's our uh I ain't gonna lie, I forgot the name of the thing. Center support, there's so many names. Well, not so many, several names to call it. But that's our center support bearing. Uh, it's messed up. So now all we gotta do is drop these bolts and, uh, yeah, take this crap out. Alright, let me go get some sockets. Okay, uh, got those mounting bolts loose and off. Uh, couldn't do it on the camera because I had to hold this with a wrench and spin that out with a socket. But anyway, this should just, since it's all messed up, it'll just slide on out like so. That's how you know it ain't no good. Nope. Good. Yep. So normally, one would have to go to a, a shop to uh, get these installed and pressed in. Uh, the bearing is still good. It's just the thing that messes up on them. 85 to 90 percent is uh, this rubber bushing deal. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm going to be able to 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 uh, record it. Is uh, I'm going to use a they call this a three jaw puller. And all it is, is it's, it's a puller with, like I say, three jaws. Uh, that's what it looked like. All right. So, let me get this on this uh, drive shaft. Because uh, I, I don't believe I'll be able to hold the camera and set up the puller all at the same time. You know what I mean? So, I'll cut y'all back on once, you know, we accomplish this, all right? But, uh, before I do install the three-jaw puller on, puller on there, I'm going to go ahead and 
spray it down with some of that uh all that creeps that uh my old man my pops he he love the stuff man even though he don't never use it i uses it appreciate you pops for uh blessing me with this bottle right here I think it works just fine. And uh, since you ain't using that other can you got, let me go on and get that from you. You got it over there for this play. Like it's some kind of trophy. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Pops. Anyway, let me go ahead and uh, let that set in. And hook the three-jaw puller on there. I'll probably try to work this rubber out if I can if not it's coming off with it you know anyway put y'all back on all right ended up uh removing the rubber because uh it was in my way couldn't really do what I need to do you know what I mean so anyway I got the three jaw puller on there, as you see. And uh, it might slip, I'm not really sure, but we're just gonna try to draw it a little bit. And I did spray some more oil that creeps on there. Let's see what it do. Oh, it would help if I had the right socket on. Hold on. All right, let's do a take two on this. All right, let's try. I believe it is working. Uh, at the same time, it's walking on me. But, uh, see the gap there? So, I believe it is making some kind of leeway. Let's just go slow with it. Alright. Let's see what we got back there. Budget. Alright. Let me spray some more oil on this bad boy. There you go. I believe we can try it like that. All right, everybody. Today's the first day of the week. That means it's Sunday. Uh, well, we started on this uh, this bearing, the center. I forget what it's called now. The center bearing. Uh, we did real good starting it off, but when it came down to pulling it. Yep, we use a three jaw puller. It it budged it, but it wouldn't pull it all the way out. Got laid on us, you know. So we had to head on in for the Sabbath, and now it's Sunday. We we just picked this up, and we're going to try it. Hopefully, it works out, and. We can get this center carrier bearing back on here. There's no one. That's what it's called. <laughs> anyway, uh, and we can get back on the road. All right. So let's bust this open. And we, I did buy this uh, other gear puller set. But hopefully this is all we need right here to get this job done. 
I have been wanting one of these, but didn't want it that bad because didn't really want to do this kind of work. So now we got one. We can do the work, hopefully. With this tool, as you see, looks real nice. Got a little thing right there. Close it up right quick. And that's right there. It's your manual and all that good stuff. All right. We just need this, this, this. And one of these, I believe, is going to be this one right here. These two. Let me try it out. Cut you back on. All right. So this is the, the actual bearing. All right. And uh, we do have a nice decent gap. We got it to move about a quarter of an inch from uh, in between the tubing on over here. It's a real. It was it was looking promising there for a second, but uh, we couldn't accomplish it because. Uh, that three job pulling just wasn't wasn't doing it. Tried to make it happen though. So now we got this bearing puller, hopefully. It'll come out a lot quicker. So better I mean. Okay, so I'm I'm all I'm all I'm not gonna worry about this back plate right here. If I can. Oh man. I don't know, this bearing might just be too big. Okay, so this this would not work. I mean, it would have worked, but it's small in diameter, so it couldn't really go around the backside of that bearing. And uh, the three jaw puller just, you know, it just really wasn't going to do it. So. I decided to go ahead and improvise and use what I got here. Hopefully this works. Wish me well. Turn, I turned the three jaw puller into a two jaw puller infused with the new tool we just got. And we just gonna try it out. Set it. All right, we, we reset it, the uh, puller. Okay, okay. So that didn't work for us. So we ended up grabbing this. Got this three jaw hydraulic gear puller, five ton jack. We're going to check this sucker out right here. Hopefully, hopefully, this solves our problem and get it on out of there. If I can get it out the box, both hands probably be better. There we go. Now this thing does have some weight on it, and it does need a little bit of assembly. As you see, you have your extra 
seals that I hope I don't have to use. And you have your jack. You have your mount for your claws. You could actually use this as a three jaw puller or a two a two uh jaw puller. I probably wanna try the uh two jaw you know, but I don't know just yet. I ain't quite made up my mind. Probably going to try the two jaw. So we're going to go ahead and set up for two jaws. This right here are your plates. for your claws so they go like so drop the big boat through there flat wash in the nut oh by the way here are your instructions if you need them use them that's why they, they come in the box you know what I'm saying So never hesitate to use those instructions. They are very, very helpful. Okay, so now we run the plates up here. Boy. It's very windy out today. Very windy out today. There we go. Again, this is a three jaw puller, but we're only gonna hook two jaws into it to see if that will uh, get the job done. I believe it should. Yeah, that uh, that other bearing puller that we got, I, I really like that. But uh, liking liking the tool and the tool being useful are two different things, you know. For the application that you're using, trying want it for a needle for. So yeah, that was the deal on that. So this just screws in. Like so. And this shaft is full of a hydraulic or uh, some hydraulic and uh the tip is actually the thing that that comes out with the with the jack let me grab this handle let's get this puppy on on in motion all right so we are hooked up with this five ton three jaw hydraulic gear puller all right <clears throat> hopefully this gets this bearing out of here so I'm cranking it on up boy this thing here I should have got an air jack
All right. All right. Man, this thing is becoming very problematic. So the first three-jaw hydraulic gear puller we had a while ago was a five-ton. I had to go back and take that back and grab this 10-ton because it didn't perform like I expected it to perform. And I really did not want to go with this 10-ton because I believe it's overkill. But I got to get this bearing off. So let's try it with this and uh, let's see what it do. Let's bust it open. Go. There go y'all instructions right here. There you go the big jack. Oh the instructions and the your extra seals. There go your big jack. Hooks. Go ahead and get this hook in order. Along with the plates. Go to bolts. Yeah, there go the bolts. bigger than the other. Mo beef. I really hope this sucker work. I got plants on eight to ten too. I still can't can't get the time to do so, but hopefully after all this, I'll be able to catch up with her. And everything will be all right. All right, that's that. Get this jack. It looks almost identical as the other one, but hopefully it'll work a lot better. The other one we was having an issue with it not uh applying the pressure or or it quit jacking jacking on us so it stopped performing so we decided to go with the 10 ton the bigger jack Yeah, I'm just doing these hand tight. Uh, these some big old bolts. So, they'll be fine. Being hand tight, they'll be an overkill if you try to snug it down with a wrench and a socket or socket or whatever. Especially for the application we're using it for. There we go.
Scoop Jackie. Let's take it on to this drive shaft. All right, we got this big motor scooter on here. It uh it's just like the the smaller one. But what just happened? I believe us it gave up on me. No, it slid that bearing out. It sure does. Oh, put this. Let me put this on back. So this ten ton, uh, three jaw hydraulic gear puller. It's working real good. Uh, it's almost out. Turkey was right. I should have got this instead of that five ton earlier. But hey, we got it now. And we are making progress with it. All praise to the most high. Coming. That's out of there. All praise to the most high. There it is, guys. That's some of my mama is out of there. Yes, indeed. And there she goes. I don't know if y'all gonna have the the money to spend to get that that thing costs like 89 bucks or something like that kill folk gave me a 10 percent discount so hey it worked and they go to gears for, for the spleen just got to clean that up real good and uh i'll pray to the most high uh, let me get on with it and clean this up and i'll cut you back on all right, everyone, we got that uh, carrier bearing out, finally. That uh, three-jaw puller jack from Harbor Freight did work. Now I got you some emery cloth right here. That's exactly what I use to, uh, that's the box to try to clean this up. Just want to clean it up. So hopefully it won't, it won't be so hard slapping the new one back on as it was. You know, removing the old. So, as y'all can see, there it is. Just 
Put that shine back into it, smooth it out. That's all we doing. Nothing fancy, nothing major. Just doing some cleaning on it. See the difference there? Want to smooth the back out, get rid of all that friction. All that blemish right there, I want to try to get as much as that off. Let me. Let me inspect the rest of it though. Looking alright so far. Looking mighty fine. Didn't mean to make this video as long as it has been. But that, that first three jaw puller I had, it, it really started stripping the main bolt to press down with. So that was the first problem. Really looking real good now. Let me hit this up just a little bit more. Shiny, shiny, shiny. That's what you want. It. You want it to be pretty. Let me go ahead and hit the, some of these teeth. Slightly, slightly hitting it. That's it. Looks about right. Okay, we got a brand new uh, U joint going on this uh, uh, this yoke right here. All right, this is what marries back into uh, into the other yoke going towards the front into the transmission we've already applied anti-seize 
the two hour yoke. Flipping it around so I can get a better access at it. Check, make sure my needle bearings. It's good. Okay, we're just gonna give it a few love taps with the hammer. Just so it could press on in. Like so. All right, let me go get some bolts in it. Got the nuts on there. Go ahead and snug it down tight. That's how you want your U-joint to be free. You want it to move simple and easy like that. You do not have to lock tight these bolts, but if you choose to, you may. Let's go ahead and pull it down tight. There it is. And the reason why you don't need to lock tight it is because these are your locking tabs right here. And all you really do is get off in there underneath it. And you just really tap it. Tap it down. You get a flathead, a punch or something. And you just lock it down. You could do both sides, you know, this side and this side. I'm just going to do one. Flip it over.
turn that a little bit more. So I can get the flat side up uh, of that boat. That'll work. Those these tabs just keep your nuts from backing off or your bolts from backing off okay we'll slide this back on the tube and we'll get this bearing on all right we're gonna marry the yoke into the uh tube probably be easier to go ahead and remove this dust seal Sliding the yoke on in. That is. I'm resting it. See something? Might feel teeth off. Raise it back up. That's it. All right, folks. Time to slap this bearing on. All right, we're now going to slide the carrier bearing into the drive shaft. And we did, uh, we did use a lot of anti seize on this thing. We're just going to slide it in. Man, I, let me hang it up right quick. And I do need to make sure this is all the way in. Uh, it did feel like it just slid all the way in, and that's kind of weird. But we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Put some bolts on it. To help Big Turkey down at the bottom. Because he's down there benching this bad boy. At least these bolts and him down there. You know, help him out a little bit. Okay. All right, we're now sliding this uh, yoke to marry to this drive shaft. You have to make sure this thing is lined up. With the front, perfectly. If it's a teeth off, you'll have to redo it. I believe I'm okay. I hope I'm okay. Let's put it like that. Anyway. All right, we're putting the washer and the locking nut to the center of the yoke. As you can see, this yoke is not flushed down all the way. So that's only telling me that that bearing is going to get pushed by this uh, yoke, which is fine. All right, we'll be putting this big boat on. This is a three quarter drive ratchet and socket. The socket is a one and five eight for this application. All right, each yoke does have a, a different nut, I believe. 
especially on your rear main or your rear end. Go grab a extension. All right, back to business. I do have it in gear, so it doesn't spin out on me. Uh, so the drive shaft does not spin. It's locked down. Examine it right quick. It's looking good. Go ahead and pull it down. All right, it's on there. And uh, I believe we pressed that bearing in some more which is a plus. Now all we have to do is uh, slide this yoke off in here. All right, I'm gonna slide this uh, bottom cap on for the view joint like so hope y'all can see that there it is let me dump a put a nut on there right quick big boy Hey, hold this bag. Hey, big boy, go get me a, flat, a Phillips. I'm working on my blind side. Can't tell if that hole is lined up. We're not going to uh, slide on the top cap. There we go. Top one is on. Big boy, come get the trash right here. Put those that, that old those old caps. Put them off in there. Big boy, grab that. All right. Sliding the screw in the bolt, I mean, into it. And we still have to, uh, we still have to tighten down this mountain bolt for the carrier bearing. But uh, I decided to go ahead and handle up on this. U joint right quick. All right, we're not gonna snug down the U joint caps. Yep. 
Yeah, I could zip this up with that impact. I just choose not to. Big turkey. Grab this, grab this pole over here. Get it out of the way. I hope my arm isn't all over the camera. Little turkey over here. I don't know where his mind is. I think he's hungry again. <laughs> yeah, this carrier berry ain't no joke. But, without it all, it can't be done. So, get it done. Okay, I'm just gonna pry up these locks, these locking tabs. And uh, when I finish doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on the mounting bolts for the carrier bearing and we're gonna crank this motor scooter up so I can spin the drive shaft and uh get to these bottom locks comfortably without having to get under the the, the truck it's hard with that air tank in the way and get a good angle at it. There we go. All praise to the most high. Always making things happen, boy. There it is. I'm gonna snug up this uh hanger bolts for this carrier bearing and we'll crank her up, build up air, air pressure and pull her up. Alright, pulling down these uh mountain boats for this uh carrier bearing. That's all she wrote. All right, let me hit this right quick with this ratchet. Look at that breaker bar. Should have got a half inch drive. All right, we're snugging it down. So we're just pulling it on down tight. That should be good. good and that's it I'm gonna build up air pressure spin this uh drive shaft and put the locking tabs on the other end I'll cut y'all back on all right we're now gonna bend these tabs you know what before we do let me go ahead and twist on this a little bit Right, back 
that connection. There we go. Just like so. Alright everyone, we cranked up, we're about to go for a test run, see if we get any vibration or anything, I hope not, you know, but uh, I couldn't have the camera on the drive shaft while it was, while it was spinning and I'm riding, because I, I just ain't got one of those kind of cameras, you know what I mean, anyway, let's get on with it. And, uh, well, I probably have to cut y'all off, but I'll just get back on, you know, here in a little bit, but I'll let y'all know what's up. Well, family, I'm back. Uh, all praise to the, all praise to the most high. This, uh, the performance of this thing was pretty good. Uh, can't complain. It did what it's supposed to do, you know. Anyway, just wanted y'all to know. Like I said, you can fix it too. On that note, all I'm gonna do is a uh, grease these. Y'all don't need to see all that. Just applying grease in the grease fittings. But till next time.